Hello everyone, this is GM Josh Fidel, and I'm going to be lecturing on Rook and Bishop versus Rook. Now I'm going to divide this lecture into two parts. The first part, which I'm going to do right now, is going to be how to defend it from the King and Rook point of view. And the other one is actually how to press it when you have the Rook and Bishop. Uh, so you're going to sort of get both sides. Now again, um, to these end games, uh, there's sort of, I don't know, there's a lot of points of view. Now, from a practical point of view, um, it's often very difficult to defend them simply because there's just so much pressure and like one little slip, you can go down. Often there's time pressure because it's the end of the game. So I'm sort of going to be showing you the practical points as well as how to actually play the position. Um, so again, I mean, when you get this in a game, it's, you know, e either side you get it, don't necessarily, I don't know, may have any assumptions. Now, like for example, uh, objectively it's a draw. Rook and bishop against rook, unless it's a ver very specific position, is a draw. Like this particular one where the king's in the center, there's nothing much going on, this should be drawn. However, in a practical game, it's often very difficult. And often I think that the offensive side even has a slightly better score overall, even in GM games. And the reason's because it's, you have to really know some, a lot of ideas to be able to defend it properly, whereas the offense is a bit easier. Sometimes it's hard to find the winning maneuver, but it's uh, very easy to blunder, it's very easy to do these things. So when you're playing these positions, you have to keep in mind, even if you think you know them, you have to be very, very cautious all the time. Um, and if you have the rook and bishop, don't just assume your opponent knows it. You know, play it out to, as long as you can till 50 moves, you know. Um, so anyway, uh, to begin with, uh, this is a game I actually had. I was black against Shar of Dorge, who's a GM, a Mongolian. And uh, this was sort of an interesting situation because basically I was pressing him and then blundered and how, now I have to defend Rook against Rook and Bishop. Now, I had, you know, studied this a little bit, but I wasn't, you know, 100% up on, on this. So I was a little bit nervous, incidentally. Now, first of all, often when you get it, it's like this. It starts out like this. So don't, even if you know a defensive idea, don't just revert to putting your king on the side or whatever right away. Because the thing is, you don't know your opponent will even know how to force you out of the center, first of all. Especially if you're going to be playing weaker players. You, if, you have no idea if they'll even be able to do that. And also, you want it to be 50 moves as soon as possible, right? Make them take as many moves as possible to force you to whatever position it is. So don't make it easy for him. So I come in, king e6. So I'm going to show the beginning of it re relatively fast so I can go over the defense. But, so rook d6 check. So he's just trying to cut me off. We hope you enjoyed this video demo from chess.com. Subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library. Your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.